So Eddie had a bit of a different way of calling Brody Grundy. What the about, Jesus. What the, about sporting nicknames? The good-looking Jesus that you called yeah. him, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. did. What, oh, what's, your, what's your favourite say of your teammates, whatever, from over the years? I, got, I, got, I knew you were going to come bring this up at some stage. I didn't know when, but so I wrote down two. One is one of my great guy, mates I grew up with it was a cover fieldsman. And he was a brilliant player and he played junior, you know, representative cricket. He was a champion cricketer on the peninsula, Morning Peninsula, David Martin. And he's and he would dive and just take from there to there off in a huge big scab game one. And game two, if it was out wide, he'd still dive and he'd rip it off. He went six months of the year with a big scab on his arm. So his nickname Scabs. <laughs> Not a flattering name, but that's where that one comes from. But my probably my favourite of the Hawthorne guys was uh, uh, Paul Deer, big fella, 108 kilos, monster of a man. And w everything was big. I mean, his legs were big, his everything, and his head was huge. He had a head like a buffet, a buffet thing you put your feet on, you know, one of those. <laughs> so we used to call him Punkin Head, and that became Punker. Punker, yeah. And Alan Jeans, under pressure of a, a game when he was going through stuff, he'd... he'd, he'd He'd spoonerism things and he had to move uh, a punker from position and he said, all right, Hutto, I need you to do this. Humper, will you go and, <laughs> and play at full forward? And he called him Humper and 21 other boys had gone, Humper. And he never lost Humper after that. So he's the Humper. Hey, Derma, well, you do, he's got the two great voices, Derma. You've got Alan Jean <laughs> and can you just give me Don Bradman as well? <laughs> oh, Don Bradman. Cut it out, son, you bloody idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Louie? You got a, a nickname? Oh, in fact, I mean, Ruffy used to be called Smooth. That, right. that's, a, yeah, that's, yeah. that's not a, a long history. That was just... is what it was. But Did he ever get it, called Orange? No. The no, Orange Ruffy? No, no, no. That was never... People just in the crowd smooth. were yelling yeah, that. Yeah, smooth. Yeah, right. um, there's, there's a few that just probably can't be explained. <laughs> On air, yes, I but, but it, I've got one yeah, of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yours, Dan? Jason Dunstall has an unflattering <laughs> nickname, and I guarantee you, when I know my last day in the media is upon us, and it's the last. <laughs> Noss is laughing behind the camera <laughs> over there. <laughs> when it's my last 15 minutes on air, I will tell you where Dunstall got his nickname <laughs> from because they'll march me out of here forever when I do. Who knows? So you've got a couple that can't oh, be yeah. told as well. You've got about 25 years left in the media, 30 years. But but when you when you asked me, I, start, I started to do a little bit of research. But so not people that I've known, but there's a few that I do. There was a player, a soccer player in England called Fitz Hall. <laughs> his nickname was One Size. Uh, One size good. fits all. And then Mark War early on in his career, this is the well well known one in Afghanistan, the Forgotten War, yeah. which was <laughs> which, which I'm was not sure that he ever actually got grip. called, but it was a it was a great uh, I'm believing it. Yeah, that's right. Well Bob did it, Bob Murphy did a list on, on SEN a couple of years ago. I'm like you I looked it up. But he here's he, here's five from his. Lacquer, as in a lack of brains. Four, Harvey Norman, he showed no interest. <laughs> Three, the mailman looked big and strong but couldn't play. Called the mailman because he didn't deliver on weekends. <laughs> <laughs> number two, the lantern, not too bright and had to be carried. Right, and yes. number one, clock, had one arm longer than the other. Yeah, I've heard, oh, yeah clock's good. Thank God that one. Um, yeah. oh, there's, been, there's been some absolute rippers over the... But I reckon the one that, for a kid of my age, in the 70s, when we grew up... There were some nicknames, like Fabulous Phil and that, the great nicknames, and Lou Richards gave mm. most of the Galloping Gasometer. The one nickname which has trans transgressed all the eras, all the decades, when you're just saying league football, Cowboy. Cowboy, yeah. yeah. Everybody knows. Cowboy Neil. Yeah, Cowboy Kevin Neil. Well, yeah, what a great man too. Spent yeah. a lot of time obviously calling footy with Rex and his nicknames were just part of the whole thing, wasn't it? Could but they come off the top of his head. Could have fired a Presta Giacomo. Presta Giacomo, yeah. <laughs> so many different ones. All right.